Masaya kayo lagi. Ganyan kasaya dahil pagkaraan ng Pasko, ang dami ninyong mga gifts, di ba? So, mag-aral na naman po tayo sa Sunday School. Everyone is welcome. Welcome everyone. Tara na. Let's worship the Lord. Let's sing. teacher Faith and I'm gonna tell you a story. Excited? That's great. But before that, let us first pray. Let us bow our head and feel the presence of God. Lord, thank you for today that you have gathered us for this lesson. Gabayin mo po kami, Lord, na maintindihan namin at maisapuso ang aming lesson for today. Be with us, with your Holy Spirit. Always we give glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' name, Amen. Kids, I have questions for you. Merong bang times na nakakaramdam kayo ng sobrang takot? 
ano-ano naman ang mga kinakatagutan nyo? Mouse! Mouse and cockroach and spiders. And even... Even... Chips. Chips are scary. They might get sick. Hmm... There's a lot of fear around. Lalo na ngayon na nasa isang pandemic tayo. Hmm... Do you know that there's a story in the Bible that teaches about overcoming fear? Sounds great, yeah, right? And it's a yes. It is found in the book of Judges, chapter 4, verses 1 to 24. So part of God's story is about a woman named Deborah. And it goes like this. God's special family were in the trouble. Ang mga Israelites ay nagsimulang mapalayo sa Panginoon. Ngunit, dahil mahal ng Panginoon ang mga Israelites, gusto niyang ipailala sa mga ito na siya ang dapat sundin. And so, God allowed Chaben, the king of Canaan, to take over Israel. Ipinagkatiwala ni Chaben kay Sesera, ang commander ng kanyang hukbo, Ang Israel. And Cesara? Well, he isn't the nicest guy. In fact, the Bible tells us that he had 900 chariots. Nakapa powerful niya. And he loves to bully the Israelites. Sino bukang malaban ng mga Israelites? Pero hindi nila ito kaya. After 20 long years of trying to save themselves, Israel cried out to God and asked Him to rescue them. Kids, mahalagang humingi tayo ng tulong kay God. Even though God was king of His family, He chose people to lead them. Ang tawag sa kanila ay judges. Ang isang judge ay nagngangalang Deborah. Siya ay isa ring propeta. Remember, a prophet is someone who hears God and shares it with others. Sa si Deborah ay isang malakas at powerful na babae na nakikinig sa Diyos. She held a court under the palm of Deborah where she settled the disputes of the Israelites. And she has a message from God. He had heard the cries of the Israelites. Ipinatawag ni Deborah ang isang lalaking nagnangalang Barak. At sinabi sa kanya na kapag magsama siya ng 10,000 katao sa isang lugar na kung tawagin ay Mount Tabor, she would bring Caesarea to him and they could stop Caesarea from bullying the Israelites. Ngunit, si Barak ay nagduda. Siya ay nag-worry. Sabi niya, ay aalis lamang siya kung kasama rin niya si Deborah. Deborah told Barak not to worry because God was going to deliver Caesarea not through him but through the hands of a woman. Barak obeyed and gathered his men at Mount Tabor. But when Caesarea heard about this new army, she rushed out to battle with its 900 chariots. Maaaring matakot si Deborah, ngunit alam niyang kasama niya ang Panginoon. She said, Get ready. This is the day the Lord will give you victory over Caesarea, for the Lord is marching ahead of you. Nilabanan ni Nabarak at ng kanyang mga tauhan si Sasara at ang kanyang mga hukbo sa tulong ng Panginoon na talo nila ang mga ito. Every one of his soldiers were killed. So Sasara went running for his life. He ran to a tent by a woman named Chael and asked her to hide him. Hmm. Pumayag naman si Jael. Binigyan pa ito ng kumot. Pagkud na pagkud si Cesarea. Kaya nakatulog ito sa loob ng tent. 
child picked up a tent peg and drove the peg through his temple into the camp and he died. When Barak arrived at the camp, Chael led him to Caesarea's body. Just like what Deborah said or prophesied, Caesarea had been delivered to Barak through the hands of a woman. With Caesarea gone, God led the special family in battle after battle. Hanggang sa si Jabin, na hari ng Kanaan, ay sumuko na sa bansang Israel. Pagkatapos nito, sina Deborah at Barak ay tuwang-tuwa na nagsikantahan. Hinuri nila ang Panginoon at nagliwa dahil sa niligtas sila ng Panginoon. And then, there was peace for 40 years. And that's the story of Deborah. Hello again kids, you're still tuning in to our Sunday School. Para mas lalo nating maintindihan ang ating lesson, it's time for our object lesson. The title of our object lesson is Bottoms Up. Bottoms Up. Sounds cool, right? Here we go. Mayroon tayo dito clear glass. Cardboard or carton. And water. Kasama ko rin dito si Kuya Troy to assist me. Say hi Kuya Troy. Hi. I have here a glass and I am gonna hold it over your head Kuya. Mm. And turn it upside down. Are you afraid yet? No, he is not yet afraid. That's good. Ang tubig naman na ito ay sumisimbolo sa ating mga takot or fear. So, ano yung kinakatakot ng mga toy? Like snake? Spider? Hmm? Snake? Spider? Cockroach? Monster? Dog? Thunder? Tobin? Dark? And many more. Wow, this is a lot of water. Hmm... Maraming pwedeng katakutan dito sa mundo, but did you know that Jesus said, In this world, you will have trouble, but we should not worry, because He has overcome the world. Ibig sabihin nito, si Jesus ay mas malaki kaysa sa ating mga kinatatakutan. What do you think will happen if I pour this glass over your head? Is it a yes or a no? Oh, are you afraid? Yes. Oh, afraid siya dito sa water. Ano ang dapat natin gawin kapag tayo ay natatakot? We have to, not Troy, gagawin? Pray. We have to pray. We have to cast our fears to the Lord. We have to pray that God will take away our fear. Ngayon naman, isipin natin na itong cardboard or karton na ito ang ating prayer. Ilagay natin ito on top of our fears and let's see what happens. Be brave, okay? Wow, amazing! Are you afraid, Troy? No, because may takip ang water. Hindi ito mahuhunog sa kanya. Hmm. Paano kaya ito nangyari? This is how it works. Hinihigop ng hangin ng cardboard para dumikit ito sa top of the glass. So, um, dahil may takip na prayer, ang ating fear, hindi mahulog sa atin ang ating fear. Ma-overcome natin ito. Again, the air is like the Holy Spirit. Okay? Hindi natin ito makikita, pero lagi tayong sinasamahan. Kids, gusto kong mag-isip kayo ng inyong mga fears. And then, let us pray to the Lord na tulungan niya tayo para maging matapang. We should learn to trust God with all our problems. Hi kids! I am Teacher Grace. Ngayon, dadako naman tayo sa ating lesson application. 
The story of Deborah teaches us the word courage. Deborah was a courageous woman. She was called by God to lead at a difficult time. Sumunod siya sa ating Panginoon na may katapangan to lead Israelites in times of challenges and oppression. Pero ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng salitang courage or ng katapangan? Number one, being courageous is to do the right thing in a difficult situation. Tulad na lamang ng paninindigan mo na protektahan yung bata na binubuli. Number two, being courageous is to admit your mistake. Halimbawa, kids, naglalaro ka ng basketball at natamaan mo yung bintana ng kapitbahay ninyo at ito ay nasira. Pupunta ka roon, aaminin mo na ikaw may kasalanan at hihingi ka ng tawad. Number three, being courageous is to keep trying to master a new skill na kahit pinagtatawanan ka ng kalaro mo o nakaklase mo pero dahil sa kagustuhan mong matutong sumayaw, hindi hindi ka magpapapekto sa kanila. And that is the meaning of courage. But sometimes we tend to doubt ourselves kasi natatakot tayo mag-fail. But kids, remember that with God, we can do all things. Basta magtiwala lamang tayo sa kanya. Okay? Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 Be strong and brave. God is with you everywhere you go. Isa pa kids. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 Be strong and brave. God is with you everywhere you go. Ang ating mga kailangan ay brown paper, green and brown construction paper, glue, scissors, pencil, and crayons. Una, kukunin natin yung brown construction paper. Pero si Teacher Grace ay may dalawang construction paper dahil hindi kaano kakapal yung brown na gagamitin natin para sa puno. Ang gagawin natin sa dalawang construction paper na to ay ipagdidikit natin para ito ay kumapal. Next na gagawin natin ay maglalagay tayo ng glue sa kabilaan ng construction paper. Remember kids, na lalagay natin ng glue ay yung hindi kulay brown kasi papaikot natin to at dapat ang makita ay itong kulay na ito. Then, ikot na natin yung dahan-dahan at pantayin natin ito. At pag umabot na tayo sa dulo, ay lalagyan na natin ng glue yung construction paper para ito ay dumikit. Pagkatapos natin itikit ay patuyuin natin ito para hindi ito matanggal. Ang next natin gagawin ay kukunin natin yung green construction paper at tutupiin natin ito ng tatlong beses. Pagkatapos natin itong matupi ay magdodrawing tayo ng dahon. Ayan, tapos na ako. Gugupitin na natin ngayon yung drawing natin. Remember kids, na magpatulong tayo sa kasama natin sa bahay habang ginagawa natin ito. Tada! Marami na tayong dahon. Next, lalabas na natin yung puno, yung dahon, at yung glue. Dahil, ididikit na natin ang dahon sa trunk. Idikit lang natin to sa itaas. Pagkatapos nating madikit, ay tutupiin natin. At ganun lang din yung gagawin natin sa iba pang mga dahon. Ang next na gagawin natin ay magdodrawing tayo ng babae. Ang babae ito ay si Deborah. 
Ayan, kukunayan na natin si Deborah. Kids, pwede kayong gumamit ng kahit anong gusto ninyong kulay. Pagkatapos nating kulayan, ay gugupitin na natin ito. Paalala ulit kids, magpatulong tayo kay ate or kuya or sa magulang natin. Ang next natin gagawin ay kukunin natin yung puno at yung renewing natin kanina. This time, ay kailangan natin itong itupi ng kalahati lamang. At lalagyan natin ng glue yung itaas na bahagi ng katawan ng drilawing natin. Pagkatapos noon, ididikat natin yung babae sa puno. Remember kids, yung walang glue ay yung lagpas sa puno. At itutupi natin ito na para bang nakaupo siya. Lastly, isusulat natin yung pangalan natin sa puno. Sa wakas, natapos na rin natin yung palm tree. Ang ganda! Hi kids, it's time for our closing prayer. Let us bow our heads and feel the presence of God. Dear Lord, thank you for today na sinamahan mo kami sa aming lesson. We thank you, Lord, for teaching us to be brave. We pray, Panginoon, na tanggalin mo po ang lahat ng aming mga takot sa aming puso at sa aming isipan. We lift up to you everything, Lord. Protect us and always be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye-bye! Yun! Tapos na naman ang Sunday School! Maraming salamat sa inyong panunood. Sana sa susunod na linggo ulit ha. Balik kayo, manood na naman tayo at mag-aral dito sa Sunday School. Ako na naman ang iyong kaibigan, si Ku. Goodbye! Hanggang sa muli, bye-bye! Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me, goodbye, see you next time, everyone.